purpose of this dive was to film a wreck called the Anworth. Um, it's called the Anworth because uh, many years ago Bell was recovered from it with the name Anworth on it. Unfortunately, research of the historical archives has never found a ship of that name. The wreck is of a, a small steam coaster uh, carrying a cargo of cement in bags. Both ends of the, of the uh, wreck are missing, uh, presumably lost in some sort of accident. There's numerous bits of wreckage at either end of the wreck and uh, this bit is uh, I believe to be a condenser of some sort. no sign of an engine but there is this large boiler at the other end of the wreck uh, there's this rather nice winch also uh, on the seabed remains of what I believe are the bow. this to show the cross section of the hull. The purpose of this film was to record the wreck rather than uh, make a film of artistic value. Here we are swimming through uh, a nice shoal of bib. Uh, they seem unperturbed by my presence, probably because uh, I've got a rebreather and I'm producing no bubbles. swim along the wreck there is evidence of the, uh, the cargo which was bags of cement Again, there is evidence of the uh, bags of cement. Um, on, on this dive, I, I, I swam up and down the wreck uh, many times so I could get the best footage I could possibly get.
over the winch again. Here is uh, part of another winch uh, along with the other debris. Uh, often these things are uncovered by the winter storms. And here as we swim past the winch again, you can clearly see the outline of the wreck and the break where one end of the wreck has disappeared. Keith on his KISS rebreather, he's also filming today. Tim on his Meg rebreather. Well, I hope somebody solves the mystery soon and works out what the Anworth actually is. Mm -hmm.